Okay, in this tutorial, I'll explain about how to use mapping. So basically, mapping means uh, when you have any kind of image you want to, actually, you can apply that image on top of any kind of geometry. So here, uh, the image what I'm going to use is uh, simply a painting image I downloaded from Google. And just make sure that you remember the size of image and also the size of geometry. Um, in this case, I have a file which is 800 width and 400 height image. So the reason is actually we are we are going to match at least the proportion of image and the proportion of geometry. So in uh, in my uh, 3D Max file, I make a simple box, a very thin box, which will be used for the image, uh, the painting I downloaded. So here I'll just simply make a very thin and long box, uh, so which will be my painting, and I will place it somewhere in the high. So actually, this is my painting location, which is placed in on uh, my living room. So I located something like this. And then I will match the proportion. So in the Modify tab, so currently length is 13 feet. Width is actually the thickness, and height is 5 feet. And I will change this one to width is uh, 8 feet, and actually height is uh, 4 feet. So I'll match the proportion. So now I have 2 to 4. Uh, uh, which is a kind of like a same, it's kind of, it has the same proportion uh, with the image file I have. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. So I'll double up 16 feet and probably 8 feet. So it's kind of easier to see for you. And what I'm going to use here, so let's render it. So I have just simply a box uh, located on my east wall. So this one is actually my box, which is simply uh, having a brown color. So instead of simply color, I will I want to apply a JPEG image on top of that. So I select a new one and I call this one as uh, painting. And then uh, I will just simply use for mapping purpose. I will simply use also just simply standard. Uh, so I'll select the standard material, which is 3D Max standard, and also I'll select standard material. So we are going to use standard. And then if you go down. Uh, So I want to see the parameter underneath. I shrink it. Oops. Okay, then actually there's a map section. And especially what I'm going to use is actually diffuse color. So I select uh, diffuse color to activate it. And then currently it is set to none. And I will select this one. And I'll select simply bitmap, which will open a folder to select for you to any image. And I will select my image. Uh, 001, which is 800 by 400 size pixel. So I select it. So now you see that this one is a kind of like tiled, uh, applied as tiles. Uh, now, so if you're a little bit uh, careful about it, so I'm going to use texture and then mapping, I will use planner object, planner from object XYZ, which I will use XYZ direction uh, from the mapping. And also I will uncheck use real world scale because we are just match uh, proportion not the real size uh, if you want to do that actually your image must be the same size as the geometry which is for now uh, 16 feet by 8 feet and then tiling I will type 1 and 1 which means I will apply one the full size of image to the full size of the geometry and then we need to select one of uh, the one of uh, three axes which is x y y z and z x as you can see here, we are going to use length and height, uh, which means something YZ or XG. So uh, I will first use XY, and then I will assign this material to my image, and then let's test render it, whether it is working or not. And evidently, you can recognize that uh, this one actually does not apply correctly. So I will change to something GX, and I apply again, and then I will render it. So now, Yes, we have a little bit better. I, at least I can see the image. But unfortunately, this is not, though it's beautiful. So I will change to YZ and then apply. So actually, fin finally, I got the right coordinate. And my image is actually correctly applied to uh, this size of image. And actually, this one is my original image. And this one is applied to uh, my rendering image like this.
And then, so now this one is a basic uh, tutorial about how to apply uh, JPEG image on a geometry. But you may like the color, but you may not. Sometimes you feel like this one is a little bit dull or too bright. Uh, to change that, uh, if you can go to output, which is the bottom section of the material. And actually just click uh, enable. Uh, okay, so simply you can play with amount, output amounts or RGB rebel. So if you, I want, I will a little bit increase the value of output amounts, change to I think four, and if you see that, and actually you will see more vivid color, which is actually you can increase the saturate the level of saturation higher, and a little bit too bright, so I change to two. So change, so if you want to play with contrast or saturation level, just play with output level. Or sometimes you think it is too bright, then actually you can make it dull by reducing the number of RGB level, like 0 0.5. Then actually you can see that this one become a little bit dull. Oops, oh, sorry. So this one is basically how to use a mapping, and then probably you will see see that this one is a little bit uh, orangish or pinky. Uh, the problem with this one is because this one has a high level of indirect illumination and this one, the color of the painting is actually uh, fill the space and then to improve or to decrease the amount of indirect illuminance uh, this is also called a bleeding, color bleeding effect now to control that actually what you have to do is actually go to uh, render setup and then you have to go to setting uh, actually, uh, GI global illumination. Basically, you don't see, uh, and then there, you don't see that uh, saturation uh, button here. To see the saturation button, which is you have to play with, uh, uh, select this one basic so improve it advanced. Then you will see saturation here. You can also see this one in expert too. So either uh, advanced or expert, change it to menu, and then if you increase the saturation from one to four. And actually, you will see that the color of painting will actually fill the space a stronger way. So, which means actually this one become more yellowish, pinkish, or it's even become almost yellow, which is actually light from the sun and also painting. And if you make the saturation level like 0 0.5, very low, then actually you probably see that your uh, rendering becomes more uh, close to bluish, which is more close to white which means uh, actually there is really less uh, uh, color bleeding effect from the light and the painting. So try to find the right level uh, for your painting. Okay, so pretty much this is pretty much that's it. Uh, if you want to make change the color of the sofa, simply I will change the color. So this one I, I selected the frame of the sofa. So I changed it to something shiny, which is I will change, uh, okay, I will change it to V-Ray material. V-Ray material, this is here, and OK. And I'll, ch I'll make it as gray, and also make it uh, the reflectance very high. And I'll apply this, so this one has very shiny silver. On the other hand, the sofa itself, I want to select it uh, also something like a, a brown, ra uh, rather like color. So I change also this one as V-Ray material. And then probably the color is something dark brown or orange like yellow brown color like napa or terracotta uh, and then actually i apply it then you will see the color here so if i render it then probably you'll see that i have very nice brown leather sofa with shiny uh, reflective uh, frame behind it and also I have a painting and lighting and then probably you may want to change the water reflective floor into something more natural wood like pattern but when you do this uh, make sure that you download the right uh, mapping image so which is uh, have a same proportion and then simply apply it okay that's it for uh, general uh, light rendering